Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Zelda Wind Waker. I am Fiery Red Harrow 8, and happy Monday to everybody. We are going to be exploring the third row of islands, but actually, <laughs> upon exploring it myself, I found there's not really a lot we can do yet. Um, but there are a couple things. Um, Rock Spire Isle, if you remember, Beetle has a shop there that has insanely crazy prices. He'd be able to compete with Crazy Red. And then in Tingle Island, there is something else there waiting for us. Not Tingle, but something else. Other than that, the rest of these islands just have treasure charts that if we haven't explored the island, then that's all there is to them, or there's just nothing we're doing at this moment in time. So it's really going to be a short episode today, because looking at this, I was just like, are you serious? But anyway, we'll go ahead and get started. And I actually, um, last weekend when I was at work, I got a pretty weird surprise. Um, because, okay, let me just say that I'm with, you know, the weight loss and everything that I've been doing, I shrunk a pant size, a couple, like, I think it was two months ago, I went and bought new work pants because the other ones were coming up to my waist, which I couldn't deal with that. So I was just like, right. So I get three pairs of pants, 20 pairs, $20 each, and now when I put those on, they're starting to sag a little bit, and I was like, oh shit, really? So just on, just because I was feeling confident, I went to the store on my break, and I found a size underneath what I was wearing. So I put those on, and lo and behold, they actually fit. I couldn't believe it, because I've, I've not been this size probably... I mean, like, I'm not huge or anything, but let me just say that I hadn't been this size since I was, like, a kid, okay? So, I was pretty proud of myself. I was like, damn. I didn't buy them because the legs were still a little short. You know, short leg, average leg, long leg. So, I'm an average leg and only have a short leg. So, I didn't want to spend my $10 on that, even though they were the same exact pants on sale. But, whatever. Still pretty proud of that, but I'll wait until they have more in stock and then I'll probably go get some. And we are supposed to be in Rockspire Isle, but it looks like I went past it. Great. Oh, well, Tingle's Island's right here, so we'll just take care of him first. And if that's the case, then we will go back to Rockspire Isle and get stuff from Beetle. And who knows? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, swim right into the island like a dumbass. Actually, what am I doing? Maybe I can see them from here. Maybe not. Because when you get the Tingle's Isle, you can go up there. If you have um, some of those Triforce charts that I think were mentioned in the letter he sent you. And then his brother has a side quest for you. But that's only, I think, after you've completed a side quest on Outside Island. I think it has to do with um, the Tingle Tuner. Which I said I won't be covering. But let's see. Yep. If you're looking at this and you see the seagulls, you probably guessed it. We have another big Octo to fight, so definitely get ready. Get out your boomerang. And this one's going to be a hard one. It's going to have a lot of eyes, so be wary of that. Okay, guys. Sorry about being cut off there random. Um... I told you my navigation skills suck. They always have. Don't throw the boomerang. I just wanted to get it out. That's one thing I don't like about this boomerang. Or maybe it's just my failure. All right, this guy I believe has 12 eyes. I didn't count, but it looks about the same as the one we fought recently. So don't stop, whatever you do. Because you can come very close to being eaten and then you'll have to do it over again. And knowing my luck, that'll probably happen. I'm hoping not, though. Because we lost about five seconds when I threw that damn boomerang. You can see the lighthouse. That looks a little odd. Alright, we've got one eye. Come on, Link. Okay, we got a lot, of, several eyes. About three or four. Come on. going. Don't stop. 
he, this the one with these eyes makes me nervous. The other ones are cake, but this this one always makes me nervous with that amount of eyes. I know there's more eyes than that. I know there's more than one eye left. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I'll take it. A lot less close than I was before. Or maybe I'm not. I don't know. There you go. And the boomerang's still in the cutscene. That was pretty funny. I just noticed it. Okay. Let me go ahead and... Grab Zeus. Because now we're getting these items like crazy, which I will gladly, happily take. And for that, you get a piece of heart. Definitely worth it. Okay. And luckily, we had to, um, well, in my navigation failing, I had to put the wind towards the west, which is actually a good thing because we need to go back to Rockspire Isle to get to get to Beetle Shop. Now this is odd because when I was looking around on the sea chart for things to explore in this row, it said in Rockspire Isle that there were gunboats that you know that were um, not quite as south as the lookout towers, which should be coming up or no, because I'm not going in the right direction again. I don't have my glasses on, so that's probably why, but even so, like, you're supposed, there's supposed to be gunboats out here in this island near Beetle Shop Ship, and they house a piece of heart and a hundred rupees, but for some reason I can't find them. I don't know why they're not showing up, or maybe it's just in another island and it was written wrong, because I have found a couple errors, but I can't remember them on the top of my head. Or may, I don't know, maybe it has to be... Well, it would have said in the guide if it um, had to be a certain moon phase or whatever. Because some things like the ghost ship, I didn't read up on it quite yet. But from what I remember, it's going to be in a certain part of the sea depending on the phase of the moon. So, I see Beetle Shop, but I don't see any gunboats. And these seagulls need to get out of my way. Because now they're starting to annoy me. And the, the one time I don't want them in my... It, space they're all over it I mean I actually like seagulls in real life I, th I don't I don't like how some people don't like they're like oh they, they you know they need to be they need to be killed Cause some people like actually have killed them before from what I remember but I mean yeah they're hungry and they need food too I'm not saying you know feed them all of your food but you know just they're animals be nice to them and I'm not like an extremist in that either so don't get that wrong idea so we get a bottle and we get another treasure chart. And my rupees are going to go down. But that's why, you know, you need an ass load of rupees for this, for Tingle later on. So, just get used to it. It's like playing Monopoly. Get all your money. Okay. And, yeah, by the looks of it, there's pretty much nothing else, because I can't find those gunboats. But everything else in this row is nothing but treasure charts. Or we, we've already taken care of them as far as islands go. So, this episode's rather short. It really sucks, but it's actually pretty short. Um, I'm going to go see maybe something else, maybe to add to it. I'm not sure. Um, I'll put a caption if it is going to... Well, you'll see by the time limit if it's going to end. But I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back, and I just, upon thinking to myself, I really did not want you guys to have like an eight minute episode, because that was really poor on my part, especially with all the 20, 30 minute episodes that I've had in the past, so yay for me to be unprepared, not, but uh, there are a couple things we can do now back at Windfall Island, I'm not going to go through all of them right now, rest assured, um, and probably after this episode, um, since you guys have seen some exploration, we're probably going to go ahead and do something else. But these are little things that I can get out of the way now. Hopefully the last one can be successful, because it all depends 
on how I do, but we'll see. Okay, so... Right here, you remember, we need to give him some skull necklaces. We have 23 now, so we should have enough for him. Instead of talking to him, let's not do that. Let's go ahead and get skull necklaces out. Okay. This is one of those skull necklaces that my daughter Maggie brought back from the Forsaken Fortress. These sell quite well at antique shops. In fact, it was thanks to these beauties that I became so filthy rich overnight. Eh? From the looks of it, I'd say you have about 20 of these, don't you? They aren't easy to come by either. Frankly, I'm amazed you found so many. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be bathing in money yet again. The money bath. The only bath that gets you filthy. Filthy rich. Alright, boy. I'll give you these. As a t this is a tip. Now, I'm not thanking you or anything. I'm just feeling good today. Yeah, you're still an asshole. I'm sorry. You're worse than the formerly rich father. Because all you seem to care about is money. Okay, again with the explanation of the damn treasure chart. I was once quite poor myself, you know. Back then I used to dream of owning a boat. A boat I could use to go off in search of treasure. And now look at my filthy richness. Chase your dreams, little urchin. <laughs> Screw you. I'm sorry. I feel bad for Maggie as far as... He obviously doesn't really care. The only reason he wanted her back was so he could make some money. And not in that way either. Just have her work. And not in that way either. God, I cannot say anything today. Okay, so now that we have that, we've gotten... We have three skull necklaces left. And I believe that's what you would pay to, um... Let's, um, uh, to one guy out here who's got a little side quest for you. But before I talk to him, I'm gonna see what I... Because, yes, I wrote... What you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to bring him back three pigs. So pretty much like an outset island. But I wanna see where they are first. Because I only have three left, and I don't, I don't, it's kind of a gamble because I lost this last time. Okay, one, there's two right there, actually, shit. And then I believe there is one all the way up here. And I don't think that the, their two are supposed to be there. I hope they don't respawn somewhere else. Okay, perfect. No, I'm not gonna cheat. I was thinking about moving him, but I'm not going to. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to him. So, I'm feeling pretty good. Why? Because I recently got myself a pet pig. Three, in fact. I got a black splotched one, too. How often do you see one of those? Not often, chum. I'll let him ashore to graze you over yonder. But the thing is, I can't stop worrying about the little guys. Here. Oh, chum, that's a skull necklace. I collect these things, but how'd you know that? I can sell these for huge profits at antique stores. Which reminds me, there's something I want to talk to you about. Could you give me three of these? If you do... Be a really fun game. Sure. See, we had exactly three, so if we don't get this, we're screwed. Thanks, chum. I'm happy to take them off your hands. All right, then. Now I'll let you play my little game. It's called Piggy Sitting. I've let these pigs loose on this island. You have to bring them back in within two minutes. If you do a good job, I'll pay you for your trouble. Are you ready? Absolutely. All right. Now, I hope that they don't... If they move, I'm going to be so upset. Okay. Because obviously... Okay, that's not bad. One's right there. Same old song and dance like an outside island. Yeah, I was about to say. I didn't want to be too quick. Ew, you stink. Alright, cool. It only took 20 seconds. Let's go back around. Oh, this is making me nervous. Okay. Not bad. I forget what he gives you. I think it's a treasure chart, but I'm not sure. The second one shows up. Well, chum, there's only one minute and 14 seconds left. Okay, that's fine. I can do it. We can do it. I hope. I'm really scared now because what if he falls in the water? He's all the way out there. Don't worry, I'm not going to let that happen. If he does down there, that would actually do us a favor. Okay. Piggy, 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 piggy. Yay! We have you! And I'm not going to jump because I'm scared. <laughs> Actually, I think as long as you didn't roll, you'd be able to keep him above your head. Yay! We have it! 
Wow, you found the third one! Nice work! Well, chum, you win. Oh yeah, I guess a promise is a promise. I owe you a little pocket change, don't I? You better not just give me rupees. You just gave me rupees! Oh my god, that was bullshit. But still, cripes. How could my little piggies lose like that? They must be out of shape. Time for an exercise regimen. Things won't go easy for you next time. Oh, don't get red and... and I think if they get red, they can hit you, but I'm not sure. I know that in Twilight Princess, the goats can do that. Alright, so... There's that, I guess, for rupees. I thought that he would give you something else, but... Again, I'm just... Full of unpreparedness today. God... I don't know. Summer's been causing me to get lazy. Not to mention work's been making me tired. Yesterday, I actually went to bed at 9.30. No joke. Like, I practiced, and then I went to bed. I just... I couldn't believe it. I don't go to bed at 9.30, ever. So. Okay, we've got 21 of these. Here, take them. My dear, did you bring me joy pendants yet again? How many joy pendants have you brought? 21? My goodness! When I put these together with the ones you've already brought me, they'll add up to a whopping 42! Oh, thank you! Thank you! I'm so joyful! To receive so many mountains of these beautiful pendants, I am quite simply brimming with joy, my dear. To thank you, I have to give you my most precious of precious belongings. I shall give you a ve this very special piece of jewelry. Now close your eyes, dear. This is an item so rare, there is not another like it anywhere in the world. And you give us the hero's charm instead of the hope diamond. Oh well, guys don't really like to wear diamonds like that anyway. Mystical trinket gives you the ability to see the life forces of your foes. Equip it on the quest status screen. So yeah, that'll help you with hit points to show you how much energy they've got left. What do you think? Isn't it dashing? It is the rarest of things, and it will show you its true worth when you wear it in the presence of a monster. For now, just select it on your quest status screen and put it on. And when you do, promise to think of me and treasure it with all your heart. Um, okay. But yeah, so we got a treasure chart, we got some rupees for chasing piggies around, but 50 rupees is better than 20, so I'll take it. And we got the hero's charm, and all the killer bees are surrounding us again because they think we're the best ever. But I'm going to end this episode here, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out!